And hello everybody, welcome back, my name is Dave, and this is my let's play of The Walking Dead Season 2, Part 4, and it is time to clean and soap our wound, our dog bite wound, and oh my god, ooh, a lot of owie, ooh, that looks fucking disgusting. Yeah. So this episode, at least for the first five ten minutes, is going to be rather now the fun part. graphic. And ha 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 is funny. Let's do this. Let's sew up our arm. I don't know if that's long enough. That was always like the hardest thing to do when sewing. We'll put. A little knot in it. Just like last time. <coughs> just how Crystal showed me. Yep. Just stab it in. Okay. And uh, gotta keep a hold on. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. She does that every time. I don't blame her. It looks fucking disgusting. Needle going straight for your arm. No anesthetic. Pull. Ooh, graphic. <laughs> yeah, nice. Do it. Yeah. Fast as you can. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Fucking. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Let's pull it through. Push. Go, 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 go. Oh. Graphic. Very flashy. Fucking brave, like, for a kid. I couldn't do that now. Like, no, no can do. Last bit. Ooh, that looks like it went in. Not. Not where it should have went. There we go. One more, maybe? No. Okay. Get the bandages. <coughs> okay, that was four minutes of grotesque. Stabbing ourselves in the arm. Hmm. <laughs> ah, and it on the floor. Ah, it's ruined. And a zombie. Knew it. Ah, zombie. Get the hammer. No, 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 no. Brick, brick, oh shit. Grab a brick. Get the wrist. Get the wrist. Oh, cute. Clementine will not die. <coughs> Another brick. In the head. Oh, cute. Q is needing me. There we go. Oh, got his organs in there. He's got a beard. In the head, in the face. Ooh, right through the fucking skull. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Making a head pussy. Pussy. Pussy? I don't know what I'm trying to be. Why am I trying to be cuties? Oh, I don't know who says that. I don't know. How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? Still not happening. Still not bitten. Yeah. Still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. Yeah. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? Yes, I did. This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to I did. I took stuff. 
And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God yeah, bitch. damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. Yeah. So just save it. Thank you. Bring Pete. her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn look is sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? <coughs> I am hungry. You want some food? Is it froze? Nope. Just not answering. <coughs> God. <coughs> Cough. Got a gun there. He's worried. Everyone's worried. This might hurt a little. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, <coughs> I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. Yeah, not a lurker. Just a dog bite. We knew it. We knew it from the beginning. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. A little girl. How is a little girl a threat? No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. Didn't take much to persuade. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. She's retarded. Okay. Maybe. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially. But once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is. What is really <coughs> like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left. And I would ask that you stay away from her. Try my best. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. See, he's a little bit of a dick. But I guess it's okay because it's looking out for his daughter. And I wouldn't have thought a little girl would be a threat to a group of men. With guns. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. And a house. Thank you, Luke. Mm, din dins. <laughs> That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Cool. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Hard. Nice. Yeah, I've got a scar on my own. Big. Big sexy looking scar. Two scars actually. One you can't see very well, but the other you can. Because it's like hey, on the look. stretchy bit of skin on your forearm. Just say I'm sorry. The whiter being a dick out there. bit where there's like no hair. That kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. <coughs> it's been known to it's go fine, bro. Once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. It's okay. I'll be nice to him. Had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Yep. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing book, right uh, there, Sarah and she was got reading. attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Oh dear. Anyway, hopefully you understand. Yeah, that book there. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. If you let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. 
So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. Pot stuff. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Yep. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but <coughs> maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. You did a few I, things that were dumb. I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and, and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. A lot of bad shit happened. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He told me to stay away from cities. What uh, happened to him? stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away. And Lee died because of it. I shall never do that again. Maybe he would have died anyways. Maybe. It was my fault. Possibly. I just... <coughs> Sometimes people die because of me. That's fucking morbid. I wouldn't expect many 11 year olds to be saying that. I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyway. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm, wouldn't that be nice? Mmm, would. still here. Ah, oh, bitch face. <laughs> I miss Lily. She was my bitch face. She's just a I real miserable bitch you. face. Yep. Whose baby is it? Whose baby is it? <laughs> Excuse me? If it's not Alvin, whose is it? <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. Bitch, make me. You, you should, should be nice to me. probably think about being nicer to me. Yeah, you should. That's just my advice. <laughs> oh, I like this. No, I like Clementine. Fuck you. You got what you came here for. Now go. I'll not be a problem if you're not a problem to me. It's easy. Easy thing to remember. You piss me off, I piss you off. <laughs> Still playing with arm. And more people are coming online. I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. She's mean. I don't like her. She did come on a little strong. Yeah, she did. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. So it was the same gun. You had to shoot. By that I mean taught proper. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. <coughs> Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> hey, why didn't you wait? 
You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. <coughs> the boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. <laughs> Seems relevant. <laughs> Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. <coughs> Ooh, tension. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. A lot of dead bodies. Cool, cool. Like dead bodies. It's always fun when dead bodies are near. Ah, uh, full of holes. The you game is nearly finished, though. This. Episode 1 is nearly finished. Yet. Which is nice. But it ain't your average gang of thugs. That much I know. Think about it. Your carver, <coughs> what do you do? Who's carver? The dick. Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. <sighs> Let's be checking some bodies in. Look at this body. I don't know where that's set on his on his uh, jacket. Too. Through the head. Yep. Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Okay. <coughs> Let's have a look at this. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? Fubar. We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! Shouldn't we go get the others? Wish we could. But one of these folks might still be alive, and they just might be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this. It either. is. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever going to give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You've got to grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this will still be out there. Maybe. Waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. Just like baiting a fish. I'd be more useful with a gun. I don't doubt it. <laughs> At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. Look, just nice. Head on oh, I hear a zombie. Zombie right there. Oh, my God. <coughs> shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. No. Good. Makeshift spear. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Okay. But we'll have to do that next time. So, thank you for watching. My name's Dave. Uh, this was part four of The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe for more. Alright guys, thank you and bye-bye.